Hello, you guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm doing a collective love reading message for you guys and see what's in y'all energy. Y'all on the way in, y'all guys, please press the like button, like, share, comment, subscribe. You know the YouTube thing, okay? Let me see what y'all guys need to know in love for my collectives. What do my collectives need to know in love? Hope you guys are doing well. Thank y'all guys for visiting my channel. I really do appreciate you guys. Okay. Thank you guys for thinking of me too. Come visit my channel, you know. And if you don't press the like button, it's okay. I'm very thankful and grateful that you did view me, okay? I'm not choicy. Okay. I really do appreciate everything y'all doing for me at this time. Okay. Giving me subscribers, you know, checking me out. You know, they really make my day, okay? And I hope I can give you guys some clarity and insight, um, you know, in your love life. You know, these are general readings. Everything might not resonate with you guys, okay? These things could be going on. It could be stuff that's going to happen a year from now. My readings that I do are timeless, so it doesn't have a date on it, okay? So, yeah, let's see what's going on with you guys. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So someone do like, yeah, I can't just get it out, baby. Someone would like to express their love to you guys. Someone want to tell you guys that they love you. If someone haven't been telling you that, those words, they want to express their words to you. This person is also want to make a romantic gesture, maybe to come towards you guys, or maybe to take you guys out on some kind of date I see here. But this person want to be very romantic with you, okay? This person also, too, I just got here. Maybe this person um, maybe have hurt you guys. Uh, maybe this person just not, not, not the type of person to express love, okay? But maybe this person express love in different ways, okay? But I do can, I can see that this person do love you guys, okay? But, you know, everybody express their love in a different way. Maybe this person might just hold hands with you or something like that. That is a, a form, a gesture of love. I've just seen two, two, two on the clock as I was telling y'all that. That is a gesture of love. Or maybe someone want to give you a nice, tight hug or something like that. That is a form of gesture of love. But maybe this person, you know, taking you out to dinner or buying you gifts or stuff like that. That may be their form of gesture of love. Okay, you know, everybody have their own way of loving. That's what I just got here. But this person do, they will like, they is going to express their love to you. I just got uh, soon. I just got soon, okay? We have here new love. So this may be a new love that may be entering you guys' life. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So a new person may be guided to y'all by ancestors. I can see angels here. So maybe um this person is guided to you by their angels, or this person have been listening to their intuition, or their intuition have been um telling this person that you is the one for them. That's what I just got here. This person do have a lot of romantic feelings for you. I see a lot of passion here. Okay, maybe this person when they see you, that maybe they get down on one knee. Maybe this person like to get down on their knee and they like to kiss your hand. I see here. Okay, but they're just showing their romantic feeling for you. So a new love is here, or y'all guys is feel to receive this soon. I just got ahead. A new option is ahead. Get rid of all the old option exes need to go. If y'all have exes that y'all are dealing with, this person is not going to allow exes and stuff in y'all life. They just want it to be you and them. Also got here too, this person want to elope, elope with you to show you their romantic feelings. We have soulmate here. Yes, this person is your soulmate, okay? So if there are anyone, any blockages or baggages that you guys have in y'all life, I suspect that y'all, I think that y'all guys need to get rid of, you know, set boundaries with, you know, the people in your, um, you know, people that you used to deal with. Or if you, you know, single, you just dating and this person know that you are their soulmate. Maybe this person also was dreaming about you guys. That's what I just got here. So this person has been having numerous uh, dreams about you. This person has been listening to the signs. Or this person once was ignoring the signs I just got here too. But this person is now following their heart. And they are now fit to follow their soul to you. This person knows that y'all are soulmates for life. I just got here. This person want to be wherever you are, okay? Maybe this person also too, they like to kiss. 
y'all guys have a um, passionate kiss. Um, I can see that it's electrifying when y'all do kiss. It is a kiss that nobody else have ever experienced with this person. When this person kiss you, they give you all of them. That's what I just got here. This person give you all of them when they kiss you. Or if somebody haven't kissed you, this person is going to kiss you. And you are going to know right then and there. Maybe y'all guys already know that this new love is your soulmate, okay? Or because somebody too, you could have met somebody new and they just start expressing their love like on the first day that they met you because this person have seen you before this person you feel very familiar to this person i see here okay so that is a big yes okay this is your soulmate this new love that is coming to you or someone that you already with and yes this person is not going to wait uh three years or two years or four years or five years this person is going to offer you engagement right away Okay, because you was familiar with this person. This is your soulmate. It said your love, your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. So yes, this person is gonna um propose to you. That's what I see with this person getting down right here on their one knee. This new love, this person is not gonna uh, take time. This person is gonna go straight on head into it because this person here knows what they want. Okay, maybe y'all guys also may receive some kind of letter from this person. Or this person likes to read poetry. I just got here. And first, this person is going to um engage with you with poetry. Maybe this person is going to write you some kind of special poem or something like that. Or this person is going to gift you with an animal. I see here or uh, some flowers. I see here, coat too. Maybe this is going to take place in the autumn time with these people right here. It's autumn behind them. But this person right here is going to propose to you because this person already know that you are their soulmate, okay? They are ready for a high level of commitment with you. This person don't care how long, how, how when they just met you, they already know they're ready to get married. That's what I just got here. This person is ready. They already know what they want. This person already know what they want. So, if y'all have any baggage, y'all need to get rid of it because this new soul maker come in. It won't be blocking your path because this person here is very, 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 is going to be very um, in love with you guys. And y'all do not need any, no kind of, uh, no distractions. Okay, no distraction. This person wants to show you. That they love you and that they're your soulmate. And this person is going to really show you. This person is going to put in a lot of action towards you guys. You is not going to have to tell this person what to do. They're already going to know what you want. Because they know that you're their soulmate. Plus, y'all could have y'all could have um, shared past life with this person already. And y'all just meeting back up. But someone is getting engaged. Okay? Heart to heart conversation. Maybe this person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys. They want to discuss something honestly with you about their feelings and how do they feel about you and them. They want your honest opinion and you give your honest opinion, okay? But this person do not want to uh, play any type of games or dishonesty. This person wants trust and loyalty, I'm seeing here. Because this person's feelings for you, they have been keeping them bowed. Like, it been, they been inside for so long and this person is about to explode, okay? Okay, because they know there's no other person for them but you. You uh, match this person perfectly. Okay, yeah, make the effort. Uh, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this person is taking a risk when they come towards you. This person may have all. This person um may have a lot. I just got here. This person. I just got King of Pentacles. This person is a king of pinnacles. I just got here. This person is going to make an effort. This is something that this person never does. So you, this person is doing this for you to let you know that they have a great love for you. Okay. And this, this person is going to take the steps that they, are, they was guided to do this. Okay. This person don't just do this with everyone. But this person know that you are their great love. I just got here. This person has been guided to you. Okay. Also, too, you see this person, this person will love your face. This person is going to be touching on your face and also they're going to give you some kind of forehead kiss or um, cheek kiss, okay? But this person is going to be very touchy, touchy, feely, feely. This person is really in love. That's what I just got here, okay? Let's see what else. We have to let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, some of y'all may be pushy, pushy. You know, toward this person, just let everything flow. You know, don't let control control you. 
okay? Be steady and grounded in the situation here. Some of y'all may get nervous because y'all never have been approached by a, I just got a boss, a CEO, a king of pentacles before. So this man here, he already have all his stuff together. Okay, maybe an older gentleman, just what I just got here. But this person has been divinely guided to you guys. And they, you know, and they want to talk to you honestly. You know, that's what I just got here. And yes, this person might see that you may be, um, that you have may have a little control issues. So this person also wants you to work through that. Or y'all guys need to work through y'all control issues before this person approach you, okay? I see that. I see here. This person also have been checking you out. This person have been watching you. I see here. Also, I can see that this person have been rehearsing in the mirror of what they're going to tell you, okay? This person want to drink from you. I just got here. This person want to drink from you. I just got here with this here, with the water being here. Maybe some of you guys already have kids when this person um come to you, but this person have been watching you already, okay? And they know that you have control issues. And by the time they come to you, they want you to be in the work through that, you know, and got rid of the control issues. Because this person is uh coming to knock your socks, socks out. Because this person is used, used to stuff that's unfolding naturally. They don't like nobody, you know, like pestering you. Who that? Who be knocking on on, y'all? Baby, this is my kids from the movie. I couldn't power because I stop it. It ain't gonna stop. But yeah, that's what I was saying about that. <clears throat> like I was saying, the extra baggage. Maybe um, when this person comes to y'all, y'all need to release y'all ex. If y'all instead of talking to y'all ex, y'all need to clear y'all energy from y'all ex. So this person is not having it. No exes, no bags, no nothing. They need to come in any kind of form in the way y'all relationship. Because this person here too is very protective of themselves and they're overprotective. Okay? So this person might have lost trust. And I've got to lost trust in the past. And this person... Want to have someone that they can trust. This person might feel, you know, have a little fear with them. So no one else to be in y'all relationship, only you and this person. So if y'all guys are dealing with y'all ex, y'all need to release them. No talking to them. Every strings and all, they need to be cut off. Okay. So that was that for that. Okay, let's go to this one, see what else we have for y'all. What do my connectors need to know? Anything else they need to know? We are reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. We have destiny. I am struggling to find the right path. Soul contract. The lessons I learned from us would never be forgotten. Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. So someone is reminiscing about you guys. They know that this is a soul contract that you guys have. And this person is learning from them soul contracts and the lessons that this person had to go through. On the bottom there, we have mistakes. So this person knows that they made a mistake with you. Maybe this person want to right their wrongs. Like they said earlier, this person would like to discuss something honest with you. But this is stressing this person out. And if they feel very overwhelmed with what they got to, you know, tell you guys. They know that this is your, um, that the, you are their destiny. They know this, but it's overwhelming. Okay. I don't know what happened between y'all, but something happened. Okay. And this person want to make everything right. Okay.
Hangman, Virgo energy. <clears throat> Five of Swords in reverse. So I see that this relationship did come to some kind of halt or some kind of standstill. And this may be causing a lot of stress, I see here. We have Knight of Cups. So somebody want to come in and, and um give you an apology and bring your offer here. Cancel Scorpio Pisces here. We have a page of coins. Maybe y'all is going to receive some kind of message from this person. Okay. This person, like I said, this person want to write their wrongs with you. Y'all may receive some kind of message. Maybe from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person. I see here. Eight of Swords in reverse. And the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. So there was a lot of deception that had went on in this uh, relationship. I can see here. And that will maybe calling causing this to be overwhelmed, or somebody is that's why this person is reminiscing about you guys. Because maybe this person thought that y'all um uh, was gonna have them trapped or something like that. This person might have felt trapped, or this person might feel trapped in another relationship that they was dealing with. And the other relationship may be calling them to be overwhelmed and stressed because this person knows they have a soul contract with you and they're reminiscing about you. But in the other relationship, it might come to some kind of halt here. Okay, but this person do want to offer you some kind of love here, okay? Oh, my dick, man. Yeah, this person do want to offer you some kind of love. Oh, thank you. I'm getting my cards out, y'all. Maybe this person do want to call... You some kind of, you know, this person want to come and make something right with you guys. Okay. This person haven't forgot about you. Y'all just at some kind of standstill or something happened. That's all I can see. Something really, something happened. You know. Tell me about the uh, hangman for my collector's love reading. This person is going to express their love to you guys. Ooh, I'm always dropping stuff. Ooh, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Somebody may be recovering from something. I can see some kind of illness or something like that. Or somebody may be recovering from some kind of heartbreak. That happened between you guys. Yeah, maybe there was an ending. Yeah, the standstill. Some of y'all guys had some kind of ending here with this that caused some kind of major change or end of this cycle, okay? But I can see that some, some of y'all have a lot of courage that y'all have been healing from this heartbreak, I see here. But somebody may have to set some kind of boundaries with this person, I see here. Maybe a Scorpio I, I have here or a, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person that y'all had a standstill with. That is, but also, too, I feel that this person here at the standstill, someone is also resisting a healing, okay? Somebody is resisting this healing, okay? Because this person needs to learn some kind of lesson. This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person that does the standstill, this, some, this person has some kind of ending that happened in their life. But y'all could have went through this ending, this breakup, okay? Tell me about this Five of Swords. Always dropping stuff, y'all. Yeah, like all the cards just want to fall on the floor today. <laughs> okay, the nine of swords. We have the seven of pentacles here. We have the seven of pentacles I see here. So I can see that some of you guys may be coming out of some kind of delays I see here. Y'all may be working on stuff i see y'all guys is working on something y'all can be working on y'all finances okay something that y'all have been putting on lack alone but this person here this is a love reading i'm sorry somebody may be feeling very disappointed at this time that's why this person want to come tell you this true because it's mistakes this is hunting this person too that's what i just got here we have justice in the reverse here yeah something very unfair that happened to y'all somebody feel very guilty about what they did to you okay this person is feeling very guilty they feel like 
they feel just a lot of lack now. This person feel a lot of lack. I have Libra here and Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. So yeah, maybe this person wanna send y'all some kind of maybe this person here, this Knight of Cups person, Cancer Scorpio a Pisces person. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe this may be some kind of a competition that y'all was in. This person had y'all in some kind of competition with somebody. Okay? Or this person was standing up to y'all. This person they had y'all in competition about this love they're supposed to have off of y'all. This person now wants to offer you some kind of love. They want to send you some kind of message here. Okay? But this person here it put y'all in some kind of competition. I see here. We have the two of cups, two of cups, Gemini, Libra, curves in reverse. We have two of swords in reverse. Yeah, maybe about this offer, this message, this message. Someone think that they did not make the right choice. Someone made the wrong choice. I see here. Someone is feeling very confused about this offer that they made to someone. I see here, but um, it's maybe because it was a um a decision that was. This information was due to some kind of evil, okay? This somebody was in competition with you guys, and they, they had to make this offer to someone. But this person, they're not in love with this person. This person is in love with you guys, I see here, because this person is going to offer you guys some kind of marriage or proposal, I see here. But maybe it's a secret, okay? Tell me about this Eight of Swords in Reverse. <clears throat> yeah, eight of swords in reverse, a king of wands here. We have an Aries Leo Sagittarius and a nine of wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius here. Yeah. About this person not in head. This person has been doing a lot of thinking and visionary vision visionary about y'all. This person is now seeing the big picture I see here. This person is also um is getting tested. This person is getting tested, have to stand up for something. Because maybe somebody now is about to stand up to this person and let them know um, about how they're feeling that they're not in love with them. That's what I just got here. Somebody's not in love with somebody anymore. And this is for the have, but this is for the test their faith. Okay? And maybe this person is taking the last stance towards this. Because this person has to defend themselves on how they really feel. Tell me about the deception of the moon. You have the ace of pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So this may be a secret that someone is coming to offer you something. Yeah, somebody's going to come offer y'all some kind of major love here. Somebody that maybe was selfish to y'all. This person has went through some kind of transformation here. This person knows that they was unfair to you, okay? Maybe somebody had a lot of power and domination over this person, okay? Or this person knows that they was one-sided with you. I see here this person want to come offer you some kind of gift. Maybe an emperor here that may be heartbroken. Okay? Or uh, in some kind of loss that they lost you guys. But yes, that's what I have for you guys. Thank y'all for visiting the KP Tarot. Um, like, press the like button if this resonates with you. Um, yes, this person is going to return to you guys to uh, make it right. So, be looking out for that. Okay? Bye.